Ridiculous fishing. What's up, guys? I am Justin Davis. I'm joined by my close personal friend, Damon Hatfield. We know each other biblically. Ooh, ooh. Um, I want you to scoot your microphone a little bit closer to your face. Yeah, there you go. Is that better? I think it's going to be better, yeah. Let's so start over. we're taking a look Let's at. Start over. No, this is fine. We're going to do it live. Okay. Uh, this is ridiculous fishing. This is sort of the hotness I've, on yeah, I've been the App Store right now. I'm anxious to see this because you've been talking this up for a while. Yeah, I mean, there was a big dust-up with dust up. this game, uh, a game called Ninja Fishing came out that kind of cloned Ridiculous Fishing. But, but Ridiculous it, Fishing's not even out yet. But it, exactly, like the clone came out before the original and the developers were upset. Yeah, and so it took, too. it took a little bit of the wind out of their sail, but this game's style is just so cool. I love the music. So what you're doing is you're tilting the screen. I'm There's a whale back there. I'm tilting the screen right now, and I'm trying to avoid hitting the animals because when I hit one, that's when my I'm trying to oop, oops. I'm trying to catch as many fish as possible, and uh, I have some power ups that give me a couple of free hits. That's why that just happened. But uh, I mean, so you're not catching fish though yet. So here, now that I caught one, go. then you start catching as many as you can, and now my goal is to hook as many as I can at once. Can you? Hook all, everything here. Yeah, okay. yeah, but I'm trying yeah. to avoid the jellyfish because they're bad. Uh, but I'm trying to catch as many fish as I can, but catch the jellyfish and everything else. I was stung by a jellyfish as a child. It's very painful. Is that true? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Well, you can get revenge on your jellyfish and ridiculous fishing. So now you're about to see what makes this fishing so ridiculous, Damon. As soon and as I... I more points for bigger fish? Right, yeah. And you more points for catching as many as possible. So now once I reach the surface... Yep. Bah, then you shoot oh the fish. God. Why do you shoot them? <laughs> because that's how you get them. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is okay. So this is ridiculous. Right. And like different fish earn you different amounts of money, and they have different sort of properties. They fly through the air, and you have to like juggle them. Like you want to keep them from falling back into the water, because then you don't get the money for them. A lot of these fish take take multiple hits. Yeah. It also depends on the weapon that you have. So then you earn your money. It's added to your total, and then you buy power ups with the money that you earned. What sort of power ups? Um, so I've already been playing this game a lot, so like I have, when you originally start, you can only descend, you know, like 50 meters, and I descended like 300. I had to buy lines that let me go deeper and deeper. You can buy different weapons. I started with a simple pistol, a shotgun, an Uzi, and now I'm rocking oh the Akimbo miniguns. Nice. Um, the power-up that let me, so normally when you catch a fish, that's when you start ascending again, but I have some power-ups that let me catch, uh, like I have a toaster attached to my line that lets me electrocute a fish and give me like one free hit. So you don't want to ascend. You want to as descend as deep as possible because that's where the valuable fish are. And so I wasn't clear. What, what stops your descent? Uh, catching a fish. So, okay. Like the first, you have to avoid them on the way down and then hook as many as you can on the way up. Okay. So, and as you get deeper, it gets harder and harder to avoid them, I assume? It gets harder to avoid them, and that's where the more valuable fish are. Got it. Um, this game's got such a cool, crazy, cubist, like, geometric style. I don't even know how to describe it. You know, it reminds me of, like, Picasso, almost. Um you can go to different areas so like the arctic flows are like harder and they unlock later in the game but they have more valuable fish mm -hmm. in them so it's like let's descend here it's got different music big fan of the music yeah it's great and the music i don't know if the music is literally reversing on the way up but I it mean, plays it like sounds like it yeah uh, that's what i thought that's, but what, I, I, that's what i thought you have a drill too. that lets you know yeah you're, you're hitting fish but why well that's what i was gonna say so i have a drill and this is again this is a power up that i got and if i'm in trouble that lets me drill through a fish to not like it doesn't count towards my hook total what about hitting jellyfish on their way down is that a problem that's also a problem okay. the, the jellyfish are bad news from top to bottom damon <laughs> No matter what depth you're in, jellyfish are just yeah. terrible. Yeah, and there's actually terrible jellyfish that when you accidentally hook one, I'm like, <sighs> like, when you hook one of those, then you keep, if you shoot them on the way back up, they split into like more jellyfish. Where's your drill power? How long can you do that? Is that it's, right here? Yeah, it's on the top left. Yeah. And I again, like, I'm pretty much completely powered up right now. So normally, like, you can only use the drill for a second. I had to buy a light so that I could see in the depths. Like, you don't normally start with this light. Like, what you're basically seeing is the end game right now. Like you, it, normally you really have to build up your like skills to be able to descend this deeply. So, ooh, oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Okay, so let's catch something and climb back up. Here we go. And there's rare fish too. There's one fish that I think only comes out if you're playing at midnight. I like that. Yeah, stuff like that's cool. Um, so going back up, uh, how does how do the jellyfish harm you? Do they knock fish off of you? They get caught on your line. So the way that the jellyfish harm you is you lose money when you shoot them instead of uh, earning money. Okay. And so, you know, they're not like terrible, but 
the whole point is to earn money, not lose money. So you want to avoid those jellyfish. Catching fish, catching fish. It's really simple, right? It's tilt control, so like this is not a game I would want to play probably on the train. Because I don't want to be tilting my iPad like a crazy person. Whoa. But the game does a really, really good job. Something that'll be hard to illustrate here, because I've, you know, I'm at the end, is that like you're always just like one run away from being able to get a better light, a better drill. You know, it doles out rewards at a really regular pace. Um, there's actually all kinds of secrets that there's I'm not going to... submarine back there. Yeah, like there's all kinds of secret things for you to catch and like crazy things happen when you re reach the ocean floor that I don't want to spoil for people. But like this game does a good job of like usually with games I know I'm like, okay, well this is going to happen next. Like you can kind of predict things. And in this game, I'm like, I have no idea what's going to be at the bottom. I like the different weapons. These are actually a cambo minigun, so I can use two fingers at nice. once. Oh, oh, get, get them. See the fish, if you don't do a good enough job shooting them, they start to fall instead of climb. Oh, this is not going well, Damon. These, yeah, these these fish are harder to shoot than the last time. Yeah, see, because I'm in a, I'm in you know sort of the final or second to final area. You can eventually get some fish that fly way up in the air, and you end up in space, like you're up past the moon. I actually might get there here. Let's see. See, I'm climbing. Yeah, there we go. I zipped right past the moon. Got one you have unlimited ammo. Yeah. Mmm, feels so good. It is a, a appropriately named game. Because it's ridiculous? Mm -hmm. The game has a really funny sense of humor that's like kind of hard to get across in a short video like this. Like, You buy these items from the shopkeeper, but the shopkeeper has a jellyfish helmet that he doesn't want, and he pays you to take it from him. Like, You buy it by getting 200 money, and then you have to wear this stupid jellyfish helmet. So it's just little cute things like that. Nice. Let's see. When, when is it out? Uh, this game comes out, well this uh, video actually can't go up until the game is out. So this is going to okay. give people a look. This game comes out Thursday, uh, March 14th. Okay. And we're recording this a little bit early to have it in the can, Damon. Yeah, have it ready to go. We're time shifting. Um, let's see, what's the last thing I want to show you? I love all the little details. Like look at his little fisherman's thumb, his, mm -hmm. like, his uh, thumbnail is all like beat up. It's got this fake version of Twitter called Birder. Where, like, as you unlock things and catch different fish, like, people tweet at you. Um, it's got, you know, little funny descriptions of all the different fish that Basically you catch. Basically just a snake. I like that. <laughs> the eel? Mm -hmm. The eel's not a snake at all. It tells you how much they're worth. Are you jelly? Um, and it shows you, so let's see if there's one that I haven't. Like, see, there's still, I've played a lot of this game, and there's still, you know, some of this stuff, I don't know, like, how to unlock it. Return to the Arctic flows in the far future, right? So it's mysterious. Mm. So this is ridiculous fishing. I'm gonna have a full review on IGN soon. Um, I haven't decided what score I'm gonna give it yet, but I, you know, I definitely know that I like it a lot. If you're watching this video before the review goes up, just grab it. Yeah, Damon, what did you think? Yeah, I think it looks really cool. I can't wait to play it for myself. Thank you, Damon. Thank you. Thank you, everybody that uh, was tuning into this. And remember that for the full scoop on all the hottest mobile games, you can keep it locked to IGN.